and this one was my first experience with the hard modes on the DS because I was like, you know, I really like this game. I want to play more of it, so let's play hard mode on this because uh, it's certainly a different ride, but it's not too bad. It's certainly the entry m way to challenge yourself a little bit more in these series because there's a lot of ways to play this game. There's basically four different characters you can choose from. One made use of the stylus, another made was basically, hey, you like Richter? Well, guess what? You can play as him and Maria, small Maria, it, it, through the same game as uh, Jonathan and Charlotte. And then there's a fourth one that you have to kill a certain amount of axe, old axe armors to unlock, and you can play as one. That's probably the hardest thing to do, because... <laughs> Uh, axe armors are not great in terms of like having a move set. You're basically stuck with what you have, and it's like have fun. But we're gonna start off. I definitely have been doing some practice, but I'm just gonna start off again with Jonathan Hard. You have three options. This makes it so that you are stuck at level one for the entire game highly recommend you only do this if you're going off a new save file because uh that's 120 hp for the rest of the game plus whatever hp maxes that you find and level one stats uh, there is one piece of armor that makes this more possible but Highly, highly recommend you do not touch this unless you are fully ready for any sort of consequences. This one is very doable, though. This one is probably near the same, but you can reach level 25 really fast. So I'm going to start off at level 1 with no extra clear data or anything. We'll just call it hard mode. And then I'm just going to make a very, very accurate thing here. Yeah, it's a skull. It's a red skull. Yeah, I think level 99 is like the, uh, the max level in the original. But here, 50 is all you get. So this takes place bef like during World War II. Pretty good setting because World War II was pretty damn horrific. And Dracula coming back makes a whole lot of damn sense. Not to mention I kind of like the fact that we're getting out of like the medieval times and we're getting more modern with our Castlevania games. The most modern I think is probably Don Arya and Don Asaro because you have handguns, rocket launchers and the like. But you also have Vincent. Vincent's uh he's all right. Th but then we have our main characters. Jonathan Morris though. Um Jonathan Morris is an unfortunate uh soul that has to inherit a whip from his dad. And his dad is basically John Morris from Castlevania Bloodlines. So he's basically taken up the mantle. Not sure how he died particularly, but he's dead. And he's basically taking his place as the vampire killing guy that most people can understand. But he has brought help. It's kind of funny. I don't know how old these... I think they're like in their te like late teens... Vincent, you need to stop speculating like this. It's just that he can't use the whip so well. He's basically borrowing it from the Belmonts. Like, y you know, I want to kill some vampires for you guys while you're kind of going through the phase. Like, Julius isn't here yet. There's a bit of a lapse, basically. 
but as a result, Moore's family is kind of taken over. But hopefully we'll get a we'll get Julius in the picture and we'll have more kick ass because Julius is so freaking awesome as a, a Belmont. He is basically the last one that we're I'm aware of at the moment. Like in the until we get like Dracula in the 2020s or 30s and 50s, who knows? That'd be kind of hilarious. <laughs> Oh, that would be actually kind of interesting. Here's the problem with this game script. Uh, they changed the script when they went from the original to the reports. And Jonathan really likes saying no problemo. Like, where is that in anybody's 1944 vocabulary? Can, can anyone tell me this? Like, let's just take a look at when no problemo became a term often used because there is a thing for it I'm sure all right word usage can't find the Damn it, Google, you're failing me miserably. But yeah, I don't think this word was often used back in 1944. <laughs> uh, but here we go. Charlotte is here. Charlotte is going to be very helpful because Charlotte's got the magic. Jonathan's got the physical. And Charlotte is going to basically correct this man for being ignorant as all hell. Oh. Okay, oh, oh wow. Uh-oh. He said, he said the C word. Said the C. Yep. Very pissed. And then Jonathan's like, the hell <laughs> what the hell did I do to wake up to this? Uh oh. Changing the subject attack. That's a good move there, Jonathan. Lots attack, bud. So yeah, Vincent's gonna be our shop man once we actually get into the grain of things. And he's going to remind us that we have to pay for it. Because, you know. Economy. Capitalism. Jonathan say no problemo again. Oh, Jonathan's the one taking care of the money? That's interesting. Yeah, I would say so. There is one time where it seems like he might actually give you said discount, but we won't get to that part yet. Oh, right, I probably should change the name of the game so it's more accurate. Haunted Castle... Yes, but Portia Ruin is what this really is. Da -da 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 -da. So we're going to go inside. We got to have a wonderful whip and things that you should know. Backdash is your favorite move in the game besides the attacking. And do not attack when you're on the ground because movement is important in this game. Very important. Like if you're if you're on the ground attacking, you better be back dashing while attacking or be ready to, because Alright, so the game's gonna tutorial into calling Charlotte for a moment. And you can switch by pressing the X button. Getting that wonderful Oh god. Yeah, if there's one thing you gotta watch out for, this is hard mode where enemies are moving a lot faster and they poison you if they touch you in this case. Like, zombies will actually, like, give you the first poison instance of the game. Getting poisoned is terrible, because you basically have a attack drop immediately, and you lose health, which is really bad. <laughs> really bad. And then bats? You want to know how much damage bats do? Well, let's actually run into a bat first. Oh, hi. 
Oh, there goes about half my health right there. Yeah, that's how much damage a bat does, too. It's going to be 60 plus damage. Everything around here does 60 plus damage at level 1. Oh, thank I, I really enjoy that whole beat. Week. Yeah, this is where the game... You just start off hard mode as a... Like, a freaking right hook to the face. And then you have this section. I, I'm pretty sure if this guy touches me, I'm dead. So let's try not to have that happen. And we get some tape some beef jerky. What's up, Razor Edge? How you doing? Man, that's kind of gross, man. You might want to maybe have Dracula fix you up, bud. Then we get ourselves our first, like, special weapon. Nice, pretty decent, but I'm definitely not going to be sticking with it after I get the a really good special weapon. We'll get that thing in the future. Definitely good for these assholes. <laughs> Alright. Stop. Yay, Charlotte gets her first spell. You're going to use that a lot. Like, Raging Fire is really damn good for a first spell. Because... Like, look at the coverage. That's pretty damn good. It hits the frickin' skeleton behind the frickin' axe armor. That's that's pretty significant. You're going to definitely want to use Charlotte on hard mode. If you're not a fan of her, please become a fan of her. Because it's going to make your life ten times easier. And you want to charge your shit if you can help it. Because charging spells does twice as much damage, and some spells don't take a long to charge. Like, Raging Fire is one of those spells that take, like, maybe half, like, a second to charge. Oh no, it's not human. Well, it certainly looks human. Yeah, this guy is definitely not a, a monster. He actually looks pretty good for a translucent guy. He's going to be very important for a lot of side quest stuff. And he's apparently not super happy with Jonathan's lip. Jonathan, chill the hell out, dude. Yeah, hold on. How are you going to fight a freaking ghost? That's a good point. <clears throat> Damn. Well, uh, special conditions. It's called story, lady. We have to have some connection to the original game, right? Mr. Wind. She doesn't seem to be very convinced. I love how he's like, just wind is fine. Don't put the Mr. Though I will say some people are not a fan of the art style chosen here compared to like Ari and Sara where it's like, hey, this looked really gritty and serious. Now it looks anime and a little cutesy, but I, I don't mind it. Oh, damn. Jonathan's just like... <laughs> yeah, they are at blows with one another. Well, that's gonna be a really long wait, Mr. Wind. Because, uh, it's Dracula. Y you kill him, he comes back. He's kinda like... 
He's kind of like the common cold, except very lethal. Uh, huh. Yeah, you, you're just, you just started, Jonathan. Stop being cocky and stupid, please. Uh-oh. Oh, by the way, this is what the script also introduces. Fricking errors. This wasn't a problem. Like, you, you see in this error right here, leaves me fulfill his destiny. What does that mean? You forgot it too. Uh, so... Guess I got bit carried away. What <laughs> the hell? Why screw up the script when it no when nothing was wrong? I got bit carried away. Good start, game. Making Jonathan seem like an idiot. <laughs> yes, can you please help Jonathan speak English and not do the English? Konami definitely... I don't know if it's Konami's fault. I don't think M2 would have screwed it up, so I'm just gonna blame Konami. How are things? How are things? It's pretty good, because I got my first side quest that's super easy to complete. Literally involves talking to a man with the shop music in the background. Welcome back. For a price, right? <laughs> yeah. Glad that you're smart. Oh, Yeah, Charlotte knows freaking Raging Fire. You don't want it to be on the receiving end of that. <laughs> so pretty much all you have to do here, buy a potion. I'm gonna buy more than one here shortly, and a map. I'm going to buy at least another potion. Thank you. Cause uh dying's gonna be really easy on hard mode. Yeah, I get the power to slide. I don't know why it's called Blizzard's Tail. I does anyone know why they call the sliding move Blizzard's Tail? Like it's in every game that has a slide. Uh oh, who is the Lord of this castle? <gasps> Sorry, Joker. I'm trying my best, man. Uh-oh. Looks like I dropped a couple frames when I wasn't looking. So we're going to be doing a Mario 64 in this game, by the way. We're going to be going into paintings that take us into magical places that could possibly kill us more. <laughs> Charlie, you're... You're very naive, lady. Jonathan, I'm going to punch you in the face. Stop saying no problemo. <laughs> this ain't frickin' Terminator, bud. Oh yeah, I also want to get a warp stone ready, because this is definitely good to have on hand. Yeah, we're on three right now. I think we're gonna have at least two more. Oh man, that painting looks very pleasant. The whole skull is trying to gigas on me. Ugh. Okay, that makes sense. That. This picture is a multi later Okay, that doesn't make sense. Wow, Jonathan. Y you broke her heart. <laughs> so it's basically Wolverine, so we can't really fight that, can we? We gotta go inside and break it. Four. Damn it, Jonathan, what is this? 
Yeah, that... And now we start getting the good music. City of Haze, the, a nice first place to get your feet wet and die miserably. At least on hard mode. Oh, you just had to get out of the way. Okay, fine. We'll, we'll get out of range so your little ice attack doesn't kill us. See how... Uh, yeah, see, this is why I moved off screen, because... No. Yeah, those guys are res resistant to the physical stuff, so you kind of have to magic them to death until you get a strong enough weapon to make that less of uh, a problem. Oh god. One thing that sucks about hard mode, these guys' axes will go down and up sometimes. So if you're thinking, I'm safe, I ducked underneath the axe, it comes back. And it might hit you in the back of the neck. I mean, I wouldn't recommend doing hard mode unless you're really feeling confident and ready. And yes, getting that, that big old defense boost mean spot. Like, I basically are going to take 10 less damage. Yay. Okay, that's not what I want to do. Is there anything over here that I care about? Yeah, that's actually good. Those casual clothes kind of suck at everything. Yep, Boomerang Logic, my favorite enemy projectile in any game. Something that boomerangs backwards. It's just that in hard mode, they will sometimes curve up and down. So if you're thinking, I'm safe, I duck. No, it might hit you in the back of the head. <laughs> oh, oh, that's real bad. That's real bad. Already doing a great job dying. Ugh. what I was worried about. Yeah, look how much damage that did. Yeah, dead in one attack. <laughs> so let's rewind. So we're going to count that as a death. Whenever my character just like yeah, that's that's death. <laughs> so that's one. The death counter wasn't there for show, is actually there for good reason. Alright, we're gonna let him do his attack. Because I do not want to mess with that. There we go. Yeah, first tough enemy right there. Oh, good save point. Gonna need it. Now, if you're worried that I'm gonna be spamming rewinds, I will not be doing it during boss fights, because that's just not fair. The idea is that you learn the boss fight, and you learn it by dying. No. Here's a free enemy coming up. This guy. Frickin' dies to Charlotte every day, all day. Just waste his time representing a rose that does nothing to you. But if Jonathan's like, dude, I'm here, he gets stabbed in the chest. So don't use Jonathan <laughs> against him. Oh, I see that weapon I want really bad. <clears throat> if there's one thing I will say, hard mode, benef it's a benefit to you to have a weapon that has range. Uh, hello, friend. Range and damage. Yeah. 
and this is the weapon. I'm going to be using this weapon quite a damn bit. Because, as you see in this range, this covers my back and my front and above my head. I want something that's going to kill something that's weak ass real quick. Do enough damage to kill an enemy so he doesn't kill me. Oh, good. And also, something to find stuff like this. Not to mention, backdashing with a slow weapon means you can do this again. Nice. Cream pie is going to be important for one fight in the game. Just one. Either that or the other weapon that you can find down here. There <laughs> really is dead, especially in this game. So here's the other weapon that's terrible. Basically, you know your weapon is bad if it has... Let's see... You have a skill tree, and the amount of weapon times you use said weapon is how much you, like, basically how the weapon, the way this works is that if you kill an enemy, they will give you, if, if you attack this enemy, like, say for example, the student witch with your special weapon, and you kill her, you get one SP, as you can see on the bottom right. There are some enemies that can give you, like, two, ten, eight, whatever, but... That just adds to this counter, and then once you hit the mastery, your weapon becomes better, and that's all there is to it. These two weapons are real low in the mastery list. <laughs> a hundred, you can do this in probably like one area easy. But they're going to be important for one fight in the game, so I'm going to be focused on them at one point. Knives, kind of focusing on them. And this room's kind of cute, because you see these things down here? Whenever you break the chandelier above the, the register, it drops money. And what that means is that you might get something new. See, it's not very happy with that one anymore. But, four free healing items, real quick. And I'm guessing that the more you pay for, the better the healing item. And uh, trust me when I'm saying this, I'm probably going to need all the healing items I can get. Game, you're you not helping me out here, man. Now, if you're wondering, like, okay, so how do you get those last two? Well, you need a special accessory for that, because things are not going to drop money bags. Yeah, I'm not getting this one. I think I might come back for it when I actually can get money bags. Wow, I got fallen on by a witch. Damn. Is it worth it? I mean, if you're completing, if you're a completionist, yes, it is worth it. But if not, uh, I wouldn't care too much. Oh, look, my first combination attack. Uh, I would recommend not using Rush. It's kind of bad. <laughs> like, if you want to see what it is. That's that's already a good indication of how not good that move is, because if you're near a ledge, your little, like, back and forth attack spree is going to be ended by gravity, so... Good indication that move, ca that's the, not the one you want to keep using. Alright, we're gonna have Charlotte help out here. 
sandals, I may as well grab this. Oh no, not you. That's the real reason why I got the Claymore. That enemy is so damn annoying if you don't have something that has range. Not to mention bats. Bats aren't bad now, but they'll get worse soon. Oh, that is real bad. Uh, That's really bad. <laughs> Shit. I oh, guess Charlotte's gonna have to take care of this mess. Oh, great. Oh, God. Problem with, uh... Problem with, uh, killing zombies with fire is that... They turn into skeletons. Okay, this is bad. This is bad. Okay, we're getting out of here. We have a checkpoint or a save point coming up. I really am in dire need of a save point. Uh oh. Man, uh, whip and more health. I don't know why Jonathan makes that. Oh. Is there something with your jump, Charlotte? Okay, I see now. Oh, this is bad. Um, hmm. I think I'm gonna go down first. I think there's a save point down here. I'm going to be very stingy with shit sometimes. Oh no, the bats, the bats! They're down here. They're ready to frickin' end me. Oh, the bats. Save point? Good. Ooh. Yeah, you can get the birthday cake on your birthday, but I don't know, and that's probably only specific to the DS, but it could possibly work here. Alright, I'm feeling a lot better with actual health. I'm going back upstairs for a good reason, because there's a good combination attack that we need to get here. Yeah, so one thing I'm going to say, the Pokemon tactics of, hey, look, there's a Pokemon Center, please consider using that here. <laughs> Because, uh, money is important. <laughs> Wait, what am I doing? I should be heading to the right. over here. I don't know if it will work on PC in console games. Definitely worked. I'm going to show off what happens if you fight this guy. I don't think I'm at level with him, so he's not going to re respond accordingly. He will here, though. Come here. See? If you duck, he won't hit you. But that comes out real damn fast. Yeah, that is one thing about DS games, is that they are certainly more personal with their some of their things because of that asking that one question. This is the one I want to use. Holy Lightning is good. Like, let's just show that off real quick. Guess I don't have enough MP to use it yet, so that just goes to show you how good it is. <laughs> I am kind of curious about one other thing. I'm pretty sure it can... It, the internal clock in the game works as expected. 
Because there is a quest that requires time, like real time. So we'll, we'll be taking a look at that when we get to that one particular room where it, it does or should track time. Well, that sucks. That sucks more. Can I not die? Damn. Being sloppy is... Speaking of being sloppy, I'm glad the sign it has still not been fixed. <laughs> Where is that E-game? Oh my god. Seriously? Okay, that's two deaths. Damn. <laughs> Fucking bats. This is what I'm talking about. Bats are become a terror in this difficulty. Like, if you if you miss a bat coming your way, you're probably dead. There's three. <laughs> Yet! Uh, okay, so very embarrassing stuff going on there, but we'll, we'll walk it off. At least I will, anyway, or try to. Jeez. Uh, the collections are generally pretty good. M2, if M2 is involved, the collection's usually freaking perfect. Because M2 does really good, like, 2D work. Like, here's basically the gold standard for, uh, companies doing their reports and such. If M2 is involved in any platforming 2D game, they're gonna be doing a damn good job. And if Night Dive is involved with any first-person 3D games, they're gonna do a good job. Difficult Eclipse also is a pretty good standard, but they, they don't usually mess up. They're the ones behind Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, right? If that's the case, they did a bang-up job on that. So those are your three companies that, like, if you hear their name, and then they're involved in something that's being, uh, like, a compilation of old retro games, you can smile and be like, okay, we're good. Because, uh, <clears throat> there are some companies that will screw up miserably and ruin what has, th that didn't need to be ruined to begin with. Picking up this weapon for a good reason. Oh my god, I hate you. <laughs> Come down here so I can kill you. Gale Force. Oh, they also did the Disney Afternoon Collection. That sounds pretty good. Alright, I think what I'm gonna do for my sanity is to head back here real quick. Get some more potions, because the first boss... Not so bad in the, like, the normal mode, but on hard mode, the first boss is one of the hardest bosses to start off with. <laughs> I do this. Get a lot of these. And some of these. And probably a few of these just because. And one more for good measure. I have I think I've played a little bit of the Disney Afternoon Collection. I might need to play more of it because one of those games is Darkwing Duck, right? That's like kind of a Mega Man 5 prototype, from my understanding. Ah, oh, crap! I totally forgot to get the more important thing. Yeah, let's go back. There is one other thing I should be getting. 
so glad that Tail doesn't have a hitbox. Yeah, the one thing I really want to get, because it's probably one of the most broken special weapons you can get for, for Jonathan. I honestly think it might be one of the best, but I could be wrong. I totally forgot about this, but this special weapon kind of wrecks things really good. And he has it. I don't know why the heck he has it, but sure can just use it. Like, look at what it does. just throws out two immediate projectiles. They kind of... They don't have a straightward trajectory. They kind of go down a little bit, but they have range, and they are pretty much immediate. Uh-oh. Fans making a game. An unofficial sequel. You know, that could be... That could either go really well or really poorly, depending on how the fan, like, what the fan's belief on difficulty is. Alright, church. Not a friendly place. Charlotte. Ow. I, I was not paying attention there. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna let that ride. That was terrible. <laughs> that, that whole room was just terrible. Oh, uh, that was... bad enough to just waltz into a place and just run into an enemy because you weren't paying attention. Alright, let's try that again with a lot less getting myself killed. I, what I should have done is first pull out my biggest weapon because the mace is going to be my go-to for a bit. Like, it may be slower, but goddamn does it hit hard. Maybe not this guy, but... If you have a stationary enemy, the mace is so slow that the hitbox hits twice. You, you can't go wrong with that, and it makes... Great, that, that's... That, see how that worked? I, I don't know how it missed the first time, but it works. <laughs> Apparently, if you get if you're too close to the enemy, that's not good for you. So there is a range specifics that you need to keep in mind while you're using this damn thing. Uh, enemy. I hate when this guy is lower than you because you just don't know when he's gonna come up and smack you. Yeah, the hard mode is basically you like taking two to three hits and die. That's basically hard mode at level one. It's a little better when you have more health, and they certainly recommend. It's certainly a big recommendation to do it with the clear save file, so get used to the changes because doing it like up front <laughs> with no knowledge. Uh, with the level 1 save file is kind of asking for, yep, you're dead. 
But yeah, you're seeing how Mace is actually really damn good right now. Like, it's going to be help me a damn ton. Like, that guy died. He didn't even have a chance to stab me. Or attempt to stab me. He just went like this. And also has good range. Like, you just want to have a weapon with good range on a harder diff. Oh, that was an enemy peering right before my very eyes and hitting me for 50 damage. Ah, oh, you're doing your thing. Well, I'll just let you do that thing off screen. Also, Mace does a really good job on those guys, thankfully. Nun shoes. Really good pair of shoes for Charlotte. Like, you want nun stuff. Oh, crap. Ooh, Hero's Cape. That's great. That's actually a really good accessory right now. At least it'll help me take a little bit more damage. Alright, so we're at pretty much nearing the boss room. Can you, like, get over here so I can kill you, bud? Oh, no. Oh, my... Okay. Okay. Are you actually kidding me? <laughs> can we just rewind this... To see how much BS this interaction was. Get hit. Get hit. Comboed. <laughs> oh, that's... That's how quickly you can die in this. <laughs> One mistake is all it takes. Well, actually, it was more like two. <laughs> all right. So let's start back here. I hate these guys and how they just immediately just drop from the ceiling. Not my favorite enemy, that's for sure. Ah, damn it, too soon. Alright, so here's how I'm going to be doing bosses. I am basically... Alright, this is locked. I am basically going to save. Right before the boss room. So if I die, I start from the save. I don't do any rewinding during the boss fight. Because that's just not fair. I mean, you, you don't get the full exposure of the boss fight if you... Oh, I'll just... I'll just rewind my mistake. That That'll be fine. No, that, that don't work that way. I'm sorry. But this is Dolahan, and he is definitely a pretty tough first boss. Mace makes it a lot more tolerable. So positioning is key. Do not... He has a lower jump than he does a normal. And this attack is his worst attack. Duck. Oh, I ducked a little too soon. I probably should be healing myself. Let's do that. Ah, shit. Oh, man, this is not looking good. Crap. Yep, that's death. Damn. Oh, that's not good. Alright, so yeah, that's how Dola Dolahan can go. It can go pretty poorly if you get hit at all. I mean, that kind of goes without saying, but especially when he does 80 damage from some of his attacks. And that one attack where he shoots like phantom heads at you, that's his most damaging attack. That's pretty much like two 
three-fourths of your health. And he, it's probably his hardest attack to dodge if you don't know what to expect. Okay, there goes some damage right there. Ah, damn it, too soon. Oh, shit, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, if you get caught by that jump and you get knocked in front of him, it's killing you because you're going to get comboed by the, sp the, salt, like, the blades popping out of the ground. Yikes. <laughs> you, you just cannot get hit by that attack in the way he wants to do it to you. <laughs> Damn. Okay, so that's a seven death so far. Alright, let's try this again. I'll tell I'll tell you this, this is gonna be like one of the hardest bosses for a while. Like the, the next three bosses after him are kind of a joke. Okay, healing will be good. Damn it. Hot hit. Yeah, they really front front loaded the difficulty, and he, I hate when he spams this attack because he knows it's his best attack. Sitting here is not a bad idea, because... Oh, you're trapping me in this space. Too bad you're dead. <laughs> I love when I kill him during that attack, because he's like, I don't know what to do for the next five minutes. Oh, crap, I'm supposed to be dead, aren't I? Yep. Yeah, that was not an easy fight. <laughs> But, it's a possible fight. <laughs> Decreased a bit. Yes, Jonathan, this is a freaking game. You know how this works, right? Get introduced to this lady, who seems to be very, very scary. At least, the heterochromatic eye action. That's never a good thing when it comes to characters, because you mean, I'm really freaking evil, most likely. Good job, Charlotte. Thanks for telling me there's a lot more game. And then, man, stepping on her toads real fast. And problems. What the hell is this, Jonathan? What is going on? Why are you using the whip? You have a mace. Then again... We'll figure out why the whip didn't attack. Yeah, sure. Keep thinking that, Jonathan. Please. That plot point will never come up again, by the way. <laughs> Though I think I haven't tried using the vampire killer on either of them, but they will be bosses. They'll... She'll be a boss later, I'll tell you that much. Hey, Acrobat Cube. I have a double jump-ish. It, it's gonna be like my best way to get height for a while. And we're gonna make use of it real quick. Ah, crap. Ah, shit. Got 
to be more here. Charlotte, can you wear this cape and this? Uh, I believe you can. I mean, I haven't seen, I haven't checked out the speed runs, but I imagine there might be some sequence breaking here and there. Crap, that's all the way down. Yeah, the first, like, first part of this game, this is kind of like the platforming life. You always have these rooms full of little footholds. Because, oh my god. Okay, that was kind of lame. That was really freaking lame. Got skeleton dude popping out from thin air. Landing on my body and sending me into a potential another enemy. What the f Yes, put them on, because I think they kind of make Jonathan a little bit faster. There's like three pieces of equipment. There's like two, some boots that make Jonathan move a little faster, which is nice. You kind of want those on, because uh, movement speed just makes life a lot easier. I have a feeling there is a weak floor around here. Maybe it's not here, but it's certainly coming up. See your ass. Better for you, Charlotte. I'm just curious. Eh, kinda. Defense. Defense isn't really gonna matter, honestly. <laughs> Two defense is just a drop in the hat at this point. Push cube. And then this next area, not worth, don't go this way. You want to know it's past all this crap? This is one enemy. There is a bunch of axe armors after this enemy. No, I think there's two enemies of this nature and then axe armor army for a con boost. Which isn't going to do a whole lot for me. Like, a con boost is just basically, oh, look at that. I take ten less damage. That's going to help me a lot. Not really. I'll, I'll wait for that when I have more guts and glory going behind all that. Because uh, trying to go for the, the go through the axe army, having like 10 freaking dudes throwing axes at you, no. Would rather not do that. What's up, Wynn? Sure, I will gladly go there for a couple of reasons, because... For one thing, getting some uh, ground meat's good healing, or at least it's gonna help me with healing. I think I, I just need to take a walk. I'm also wanting to get my shurikens up because Master Shuriken is broken. See, it's already doing a good job killing an enemy in one hit. That was not what I was hoping to see. Please note, you actually need to have a blunt force weapon to get the, the ground meat, otherwise... Oh, you're gonna play this game, aren't you? 
know what? I can play that game too. Alright, so we got pretty much one boss coming up that's going to be kind of easy. Like, compared to what we dealt with, this boss is like ten times easier than that. Like, they didn't do anything to make him it harder. They just... It just does more damage. Oh no. Great, I got bullet punch. That'll never be used. Because it's just too risky in this mode. If it were like normal mode, go nuts, because bullet punch is basically this. Does it has a lot of D, like DPS, but it's not that great, <laughs> unfortunately. It's just punching somebody in the face repeatedly. It means you have to get real damn close. I love how Shuriken just goes across the screen, and off-screen, technically. Good stuff. Whip skill? Okay, I might use that in the future, but... I'm actually gonna go with the longsword for this next fight, because... It's less about doing a lot of damage, it's more about doing it quickly. So here's our second boss. Remember this guy? Oh crap, starting off with the worst attack that you have. Give me some space, please. Yep, so he's gonna do a charge attack. The only thing that's really worrying is that one attack that you just saw. That's the worst that that attack that you have to deal with. Everything else is very telegraphed, very slow. <laughs> like, these worms don't do anything. He goes off screen, give you a moment to recompose yourself if need be. And when he does this, he's gonna shoot chunks over your head. The reason why I want I would suggest using a straight sword is just so we can react. Man, you really want to not stay on the screen, bud. Yes, look how easy this boss is compared to what we were fighting with early. If this was the first boss, I would believe it more, but no, this is the second boss. And he's dead already. Very easy compared to what we were dealing with earlier. Like, Dolahan would r run circles around that guy. He it's kind of crazy that how they're like, hey, here's the actual first boss. And then the rest follows as so. <laughs> I did get hit, but it was more like, oh, you used that attack on me and I didn't see it coming. Gotcha. Yeah, th like, basically, th it's gonna be kind of the norm for the next couple bosses. I'm probably not gonna get hit. <laughs> The reason why I'm heading back is this next area is going to be, like, harder than that, that second boss. I'm 
definitely going to be needing the mace because the next area has some really mean enemies like air like for example they're going to be faster than normal and you need to like be ready for them like you need to have a strategy to on what to do against them because if you aren't it's like oh i'm dead like yeah it's it's exactly like that <laughs> I got hit once, but still, not, that's still pretty good. Like considering dying to Dolahan three times, the dangerous part about oh god, he hit, he's immune to that. Ooh. Give me a tough ring. Oh, tough ring kind of sucks. I need I need invincibility frames. But the reason why this this area is like rough, it's bats. Bats. There are some rooms where bats will keep respawning, swooping through the like these rooms. Thankfully, not the horizontal ones, but the vertical ones. They will just be swooping from right to left or left to right, depending on your position. And they're still doing. Si yep, yeah, there it is. There's that freaking bat. Yeah, th that guy's gonna be doing 60 damage to me if he hits me. That's what I hate about this area, is where you get those rooms. And then you have these other rooms where you have freaking mudmen all over the place, coupled with this lady. That will basically immediately throw five projectiles without warning. <laughs> or she'll do this very slow. Okay, we're, we're leaving this section. Mudmen plus her is not a good combination. Yeah, so this is why this place sucks. You have to pick your route, and you have to stick with it. <laughs> oh, come on, game. Okay, I'm gonna be very concerned. Oh, I think this is a dead end, ain't it? Yep, it's a dead end. Offensive form, how helpful. Skull archers, I think, on hard mode will sometimes shoot two arrows at you. You can actually see them load them up. Oh my god, please stop. Yeah, leaving this area sucks! Okay, can we, can we not, game? Oh my god. Look at this, man! <laughs> Fuck the bats so much. Yeah, I figured that was going to happen. God. This room... ...sucks. Ugh. Oh, okay, so we're back here. Let me put an 8 here. Damn. I honestly feel like I should head back and get more healing items, or maybe consider the wonderful cakes that I've accumulated over the time. Uh, let's do this. Oh, that's pretty decent. But now do you believe me, bats are one of the worst enemies in this difficulty? Like, you get comboed by them hard, and... Okay, we're gonna try to get through this hellhole. Oh, wow. Ugh. I hate those enemies so much. But they're not the worst enemy down here. There's an even worse enemy that I have to, like, fear the hell out of. Besides the bass and ice lady. Okay, here's this wonderful weapon that I'm probably never gonna use. I don't think I'm gonna go down there yet. Can I get a chance to not die, game? Fuck. Wheat roll, that's okay. Ground meat, not bad, okay. 
all of that to you. Thank God this guy. Oh, that's the other attack you have to watch out for. Okay, I'm prepared for oh, another one of these ladies using her slower attack but covering herself. Oh, come on. <laughs> Batland, good. I don't need Batland right now. Okay, this is bad, though. This is real bad. Oh, come on. These damn bats. Nine deaths. Four. Like, how many deaths have been attributed to bats right now? I want to say at least three or four at the moment. Oh, crap. Oh, thank God. Like, you will fear bats after the hard mode. Like, they're basically as bad as Castle Illusion hard mode bats. Like, they just come out of nowhere, they do a ton of damage, and you can't really afford- Oh, no. This is a room I don't want to go into yet. Uh, see, look, what is I supposed to do? Take a hit. Take another hit. Okay, thanks, game. Oh, by the way, there's frickin' zombie dragons down here. Thank God Charlotte can backdash while doing a spell. Otherwise, this fight would be very, very difficult. Strawberry, how cute. I might need that. Jeez. I, I think the thing I hate most about the bats is that they home on to you. Like, you jump, they fly up. You go low, they will fall you down. <laughs> oh. Crap. Yeah, Charlotte's good against all these people. <laughs> Perfect. I'm glad you wasted your time on that slower attack. How are you still alive? Oh no. No. Th this guy... This guy in the on normal mode is hilarious because he takes like two minutes to actually prepare to fight you. Hard mode, he takes half a second. Like, he will be on you real fast. Like, he, he didn't even give me a chance. I'm dead. See, that's how, that's how crazy Invisible Man is. This is the scariest enemy down here. <laughs> Visible man will punch you to oblivion. <laughs> Crap. And I, I'll just tell you this, Raging Fire is your best move against them. You you want to try to do start off with a long one, and then you want to just pelt him with this weaker... Can you guys not do this? Like, bat in the far left corner. Supposed to see that. Nope. Get hit in the back of the head, though. No. Oh, all that gr ground meat's gone. Uh-oh. Um, I'm waiting for your move, lady. Good. That worked. Yeah, remember when I said sh you're going to be using Charlotte in hard mode? Proof. Because I would not be doing this room with Jonathan at all. Oh no, you decided to make this worse. Oh my god, what is this room? I gotta slowly kill a tan jelly while waiting for these bats to fly over my head.
Okay, you're in a better spot now. Oh my god. Okay, we're we're through that hell. See see how bats make this much more scary than it has to be. Like they just are homing on to you. I'm not going through that room. I don't, I need crap. So uh -oh. we're gonna tempted, but no. Actually, I'm I'm crap. Yeah, there's a good spell behind these two. That's kind of why I was like, you know what? I might grab this. This Ice Fang does pretty good stuff. Did so good stuff that it, op re it opened up a passageway that got me freaking MP max up. Good move. The game rewards you if you try something when you get it. Good move. I like that. Now I'm gonna have to go back to Raging Fire because it's just so much better. That's not... That's, can you just leave me alone, please? Oh, now they have, oh crap. Ugh, oh no. No. Why you gotta throw this guy right near the end? Oh, thank god he died from the first one. <sighs> okay, so we're done with probably one of the hardest sections just at the beginning. Now it gets a little bit easier, a little bit more chill, because the enemies here are not nearly as fast or threatening, but they are annoying. Oh, hi, Death. Uh, thank God we're not fighting you yet, but... Yeah, Death's down here, too, apparently. <laughs> He's definitely going to be another hard boss. But here's, here's pretty much the way to judge boss difficulty. If you hear the theme that played during Dullahan, called Piercing Silence, it's a hard boss. If you hear the other theme, which is called Destroyer, that's an easy boss. Generally. There's only one boss that uses that theme that I would consider so easy, but definitely there's like a night and day difference between those that play Piercing Silence every time. <laughs> Man, you, you're slow on the uptake here, bud. Probably should consider, uh, I don't know, reading into things. I, I know you don't have smartphones back in 1944, but you have Jonathan say no problemo, like it's no problem. Wow. Damn. Death's just like, I know everything about you and you're that you're two or a bunch of losers. He just, like, jabbed Jonathan real hard in the face. And then Jonathan understandably blows up. And then Death is like, Yep, you're a child too. Gets under both these characters' skin real quick. And he doesn't give them the chance to have a save or comeback. He just leaves. Yeah, you do, bud. Because he's not here. Damn. Are you sure, good sir? I mean... I mean, I'm just 
They should probably be more glad that death flew away shortly after the frickin' double insult. The problem is, is that death is, uh, definitely one of the hardest bosses in the game. Or certainly, like, I want to say top five difficult. Because you have, a, he has a particular gimmick that forces you to use both characters, or at least it heavily coerces you to use both characters. And if you don't do that, well, good luck with damage. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you have low HP. <laughs> oh, good. We need this. So let's head back real quick, because I have a feeling that Wind has more chores for me. And honestly, I really need to buy more potions, because all the frickin' dying... Pro oh, you're still getting things ready? Come on, man. Some of this. Oh, uh, anything else? Thank you. Yeah, that's true. He basically is probably saying, "Okay, you guys are trying to be a threat. LOL. Come back when I, when I care." Basically. All right, 200 HP. That's not bad, but I would like it to be 300 plus so I can actually take hits. Because once you start getting to like the 300, 400 territory, bats become less of a pain. We do get introduced to these enemies, which are kind of cute. They're like maids for Dracula. And they have a vacuum cleaner that they'll try to pretty much vacuum you and when they realize it's not very effective. Oh, I better start using my Kung Fu. But they're really great for grinding uh, special, like your special weapons, because they give two SP and they're really easy to kill. And they also drop a good piece of armor and a really good healing item, like probably one of the best healing items I can think of. Problem is, is that they don't drop it too often unless you have high luck. Boss room already, Jesus. Oh, definitely want that. Alright, Charlotte is definitely equipping this. Because, uh, this weapon has range. Look at this range. It's much better than the frickin' small knife coming out of the book. And it has a fire element, so that's also helpful. Because our next boss, I'm gonna save just in case, because this next boss can go either very right or very wrong. It's not a hard fight, it's just a fight that tests your patience. This is... A pot. This pot does nothing until you attack it. You can basically do this, which I recommend you do. <laughs> because all you really need to do is kill what's inside the pot. And the way you do that is to summon it with Charlotte's help. That's the reason why you don't want to be impatient, because that did almost all my freaking health right there. So you, you kind of have to time your attacks. Very boring boss fight, I'm just going to tell you. Like, I hate this boss with so much passion. It's the worst fight in the game, because you basically just sit here, have... Have your partner beat Whale on a pot all day, and then hit the thing that pops out of it. It's not a very hard fight, it's just a very boring fight. I hate this boss so much. <sighs> like, it doesn't do anything other than those attacks. Like, spit, split out smaller brother in of itself. Shoot out this very punishing orb. Yeah, this is 
my least favorite fight in the game, for sure. Like, this is... This is boss zero oh zero. I'm trying to make sure the like Charlotte doesn't get hit by the freaking slime thing that pops out, but you know. I would like to figure out the quickest way to do this fight, but this is the safest way to do this fight. Definitely the safest. Come on, Charlotte, wake up. And dead. See, look how fun that fight was. Thank God this is the last of the sucky bosses. Oh, there is one more, but... Definitely a boss I would like to skip if I could. <clears throat> so what, what would you rate that boss, guys? 1 out of 10? 0 out of 10? Negative 5 out of 10? Just go at it. Cut loose and... Just share your thoughts on, man, that boss sucked tremendous amounts. Wow, that was a mean game. About to have this larva try to snipe me from below. Ugh, okay, that was fun. Guess we're gonna need Charlotte's help on this. Dude, what the... Okay. Can I get the damn thing, please? So double jump's great. Because you can drop kick with J with Jonathan. That's really all you really want. Because lower mobility. Not to mention, with some weapons, you can easily use them twice before landing. Ow. 3 out of 10. Yeah, it is engaging fight. It does let you engage your fight with your own strategy, but... Oh, okay. Uh, hi, hi, friend. Let's just do this. Oh, shit. Yeah, range. I don't have that. Luckily, I have a mace. But he has guard, but not doesn't guard his feet. Too bad for him. Ow. Okay. Could die here. Seal. Can I not die from these enemies? These enemies are not bad. Strawberry, how much does this heal? Good. Yeah, it is definitely a mess. I think that the enemy spawning really slowed down that fight even more than it already is. I don't know what he was doing there, but that did not help his case. At least you're seeing how good Mace is for a while. Like, it really kicks at. Ow. There goes about 88 health right there. Wait, what's that over there? Oh my god, go away. Mind boost, okay, probably not gonna care too much about that. Oh god. Yikes. Okay, probably should take Man How does that work? <laughs> okay, let's try this room better. Damn. Sloppiness kills you real quick in this game. I'm 
might go back to uh, let's go with my partisan real quick. It comes out quicker, but it doesn't kill those guys real quick. Damn it, you're making me stick with the heavy hitting weapon, it seems. Oh shit. Crap. Oh my god, please. I don't know how these larvae just like pop out of thin freaking air. Like. Go away, man. Jesus. Oh, come on. <laughs> the foot. The foot. done with this room. That room kind of sucked. And these guys can be real annoying if you let them act. Because these boomerangs have some crazy range to them. Oh, but if you get in their face, they do this. <laughs> Kind of hilarious. They're like, oh, God, you're too close. I can't do anything, Dad. Uh, warp stone definitely could use that. I feel like I'm missing out on something here. Yeah, I think I might go back to the shop again real quick to get some more healing items, because, you know, they're going to be my lifeblood. They're going to be my actual health bar for a while. Damn, man. Do you have any new stuff? Oh, good. You know what? I think this would be a good place to kind of go, like, go back, kind of explore what we haven't had a chance to do Give me a second. Getting door knocked. favorite part about election season where you have everybody wanting to talk to you at the front door and you're like dude I'm I'm still I'm still trying to get over the tens of thousands of freaking ads I have to see day in and day out and it's like dude can, can we just chill understand <laughs> go away <laughs> I'm saying this to both sides honestly Not that much money spent there. Thank you. Oh, yeah, you, you, the no solicitation signs don't seem to matter around this time of year. I'm killing enemies. <clears throat> That's for sure. <laughs> That's for damn sure. Exactly, Razor Edge. Don't get the don't get the skeleton mercy just because they're. They're acting all innocent and scared for their life. It's like, you don't have a life. You're already dead. Let me just help you with that. Thank you, Charlotte. 
this guy isn't here. He should not be here on normal mode. He is here on hard mode to make you realize hill guards exist and they kind of suck because they're twice as fast now. And then, uh oh. I'm gonna get. Oh, what's this? Uh, what are your thoughts on this? Damn, that's some. That's quite a defensive boost. I wasn't expecting that much. Uh, hmm. Doesn't seem to matter too much, but. Oh, thanks, game. Uh oh, flying skulls, not good. Thank god there's not too many of them in here. I highly recommend wandering around a little bit to just so you can get your levels up a little bit. Get shurikens up to full speed, because... And, of course, watch out for this asshole enemy. Yeah, that crossbow is very dangerous. thing you really need to worry about with Lilos is just watch out for the heart, give them space, give them all the space. And this is also the place, like this is also like the part of the game where you have options, like you don't have to go to the next intended area, you could go to this wonderful place coming up here which I wouldn't recommend honestly I'm, I'm not going to do it myself but it's just a way of saying hey this game is kind of non-linear to a point definitely can go straight to the nation of fools which I would say is probably one of the worst levels in the game it's not that it's a bad level, it's just, do you like clowns? Do you like circuses? Do you like going to a haunted-ass circus? No? Okay, well that's the Nation of Fools. <laughs> it also has one of the creepier bosses in this game, too. One of those, uh, I would say, uh, very con or consistent bosses in the castle. Oh my god, that thing almost killed me. Uh oh, not you. Yeah, this guy can be real, real scary if you're caught in a small, cramped spot with him on the other side. Oh, okay. You know, as much as I would like to go up there, I think I'll wait. I hate how these guys are so dangerous to fight when you don't have level ground to work with. Like, they just bullet train down the steps and will gladly kill you with their little dash attack. I'm 
armor? Is this any good? Yeah, it's better than what I got on. Shit. Okay, what was I supposed to do except take that arrow to the face? Yeah, I want... Oh, damn you. I know where that potion's going. If I get up there. This is what I hate about Skeleton Flail. You know how they're, like, facing away from me? That's more dangerous when they're facing towards me, because having to deal with their weapon kind of just dangling in front of you, in, right in between them, is more dangerous than this action. Because it's harder to read. I don't know why they do it, but they seem to be v fully aware how annoying they are, so they, they really love doing that. <laughs> oh god, I don't like this. Guys, please get on Flatland. Question for y'all, by the way. Have you... Have either... Any of you have picked up a Mario Party at all? Like a new one? Great, you know what? We'll deal with you when we get down there. Just kind of curious because I've been playing. I've already played a couple games with friends, or the, at least one anyway. Gotta say, uh, I, I will say one thing: if you don't have plans, get it. Why is that? It just doesn't look appealing enough, or you're like, I'm done with Mario Party. I definitely could say that the single player mode is an afterthought. They definitely did not put all their cash into single player. Which I understand, Mario Party is more of a multiplayer game, but... Pretty much knowing the fact that none of the people I know are interested in it either. Ooh. That's fair. That's definitely fair. You always gotta. Can I find a place to heal up? Wait, I think this might take. Oh. Yeah, we're not going that way. We're gonna. We're gonna head back to. Oh, we're definitely going to head back to uh, Wind and his group, maybe see if we got the achievement. Yeah, if you don't have a Switch, then there's no point. It does have online, and it does work pretty well if you have a good connection. No, it has online, and you can play all of the modes online. You can play these two specific online modes and you can play the normal game world supposedly worldwide but you want to make sure connections are good if you know some online friends that's that will help I'll make you a deal. Uh, I think we're good Thank on potions you. I just need help So you see how that 25 level cap is, doesn't last too long? Like, we're already halfway through, halfway to level 25 at this point. <laughs> Alright, let's go back here, go to uh, Sandy Grave. Because that's the next area we should be heading. And it certainly is probably one of the harder areas to do, but still. Would you rather go to the Nation of Fools, man? Yeah, Mario Party Jamboree does have online play, and it 
did work pretty good once we got the connections all sorted out. Like, I highly recommend getting a wired. Are the level ups fixed? Yes, they are. I don't believe there is a randomized element to the level ups. Otherwise, if people will be like, Oh god, Jonathan has like frickin' 50 attack at level 20. No, that hasn't happened ever. I don't know how he missed me entirely, but... It's not a he, actually. It's a she. But she missed me entirely. Didn't see that coming. What the... Okay, I was too busy not paying attention to all the flames I was running into. Jesus. Okay, so lessons learned. Please watch the screen. See you too, buddy. Thank God a save point. Need it. Sorely needed it. See how close I am to mastering the shuriken. Uh, still need a little bit more time. Make it real good. The shuriken get get really broken. Like, if you're thinking shuriken's doing a fair amount of damage right now, when I master this, double the damage I'm doing. Double it and add a little bit more to it because I still I think whenever you get more closer and closer to the master status uh, you basically do more a little bit more damage with your special move but sandy grave is where you got a lot of things to worry about mummies because they t just do a they just take hits like tanks that's why that's why I recommend you get this going, because shurikens mess them up real fast. Especially when you master it. When you have a master shuriken, they die in one hit to that. Oh god, the sandworm. Why are you here? I think I might consider a better weapon here. Ooh, that does a lot better. Come here. There we go. Weaknesses just matter too much sometimes. Don't ask me where we're at. It may look like a inside of a worm, but it's perfectly fine. We're not stuck in it. <laughs> Oh great, the red skeletons, my least favorite enemy, because you can't kill them unless you have one particular spell or weapon that can just absolutely devastate them, and the steel whip isn't it. So the stand the reason why the Sandy Grave's kinda dangerous is because not so much the enemies, it's the traps. There are some really eh Though the enemies also can count. Like this cool, this vertical shaft is not that dangerous, but damn. They really want you kind of dead here. And then you meet this enemy, which is the most pathetic enemy in the game. Like, look at how effective that enemy was being a, a meat shield. 
this yeah this theme is probably this theme kicks ass this is probably one of the best songs in the game like it just freaking has the perfect kind of tempo to it the perfect perfect attitude behind it you don't want to stand on that oh god okay this room's gonna suck I'm gonna need to get the dawn in here because any room that has ghosts flying around good way to get yourself killed if you don't have the right equipment <laughs> They just love spawning out of thin air and they will harass you until they die or you die. Oh, that's good. Is there a save room in the next? Yes, great, excellent, need this. need to chill the hell out, man. They're kind of becoming worse than bads at the moment. Oh, right, you. Okay, this is probably where uh, whips will actually do pretty good here. There's range. Dude, can you, can you like, give me a, a break? Uh, wrong. Uh, enemy, y you might want to face the correct direction here so we can actually fight. Fine, I'll get to the right since you really want to do that. Damn. I don't understand what was going on with that enemy. It's just like, uh, uh, I want to be on the. Oh no. You here with mummies. Are you actually kidding me? Ow. Get out of the way, mummy. Get what fucking killed me? Can we rewind that real quick? Oh. You see this freaking hitbox popping out at the last minute? I didn't even see that until now. That's what killed me. A freaking sneeze from a freaking rusted dead ass dragon. Ugh, oh, that pisses me off. Alright, back to back to shenanigans. Oh, laser beam hurts too. Wow, can we not? Yep, double KO from the look of it. it almost had another double KO, jeez. Oh. Guess we'll do a double potion. And that, oh no, oh no, oh god. Jeez, this room starts off heavy. All right, let's see if we can get this guy. All right, cool, got him out of the way. One thing I want to try to do is find the lowest point on this uh, level because there is a really, really good combo attack that I really want to have in my possession. My fire is better than yours, sorry. Don't think I'll be finding it here. Yeah, I'm not... Don't think I'll be finding- oh, shit. Oh, this room sucks. I hate this room. 
So yeah, that rock, that rolling rock is going to do like 200 damage if I let it. And it's a really long climb to avoid getting killed by it. And you want to be patient with that opening. Okay, I'm scared if I go up there I'm going to get freaking trapped in that place with the Mimic. So let's just prevent that from happening by killing it right here and now. There we go. Oh no, not Flea Man. Not Flea Man. Please no, not the Flea Man. And not these other assholes too. <laughs> All the annoying enemies are down in the depths, it seems. Like... Okay, that's not a good position. Let's just get through this room. This is the room where I want to be. Of course, you have these annoying ass enemies. Whoa, that was close. Okay, you have some pretty good flame breath there. There's a couple other main traps, ones that if you're not paying attention, prepared to die, kind of- Oh my god, fuck. I need this. I also want this, that's some pretty crappy money drop in there, what the hell game. Man, I hate having 28 health here. Uh, New York Cheesecake, how are you? Average. We're gonna have to figure our way through this room. Okay. Flea men are not good. I hate how jumpy and quick they are and that they do a lot of damage. A lot of unwanted damage right now. Oh, right. Look at this bald man. This is Brawner. You're going to be remembering him more and more because he is pretty iconic with his voice acting and his quotable lines, his memeable quotable lines. He takes his art very, very seriously. Certainly is kind of threatening. I mean, you don't want to run into this man in a dark alley at all because he definitely looks like the killer type for sure and then Stella is the other sister that we need to watch out for definitely more aggressive of the two oh you're you know what else does that AI, man. AI does that just as quick. Not more. Yeah, well, maybe, maybe I'm being too negative towards AI, but at the same time, it's like... You don't want to use it extensively. <laughs> Uh-oh, someone's figuring it out. Jonathan, you, you, you have to get used to this, man. They're going to talk trash to you left and right, man. You have to let that just slide off the shores. Sniffing around your castle, you've gotten really egotistical. It does. And, company, and some gaming companies are, like, hoping it's going to be the, the holy grail of, hey, money-making machine. No, it's not going to be that way. Yeah. 
We'll fix that, hopefully. Alright, so that's Bronner. He's a character, but you don't t learn too much about him here. Oh my god, the enemy population here is on fire, man. Oh my god, I have one out. Are we done, go Shit. I don't like this no pixel health action here. Like, oh no. Oh my god, Ghost, please go away. Yeah, I was waiting for him. I was waiting for that. This room is here to kill you. These things, you will basically lock left, and you will end up getting killed by the first one. That has happened to me so many damn times, normal or hard. <laughs> I hate these things so much. They're beyond evil. That was lame, though. We will take that to the face. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Come on. Crystal necklace. Oh god, a save point. I hate this so damn bad. Oof. I would love to get up this little vertical shit. You did not need to do that. Let's get the whip out. That's not the whip. He's done. Oh, that guy's kind of annoying, but definitely. The bigger is kind of better sometimes. Oh no. No, this room's not this room is totally not good for my health right now. Let's just get over here, void the wall of freaking boneheads. Oh my god, I hate these guys so damn much. Yeesh. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Jeez. Hmm. How am I gonna get through this without dying? That's gonna be a really good question right now. First, because this guy's gonna be really doing some really annoying crap by basically covering the like pretty much covering the spot in front of the boneheads. Come here, do your little fast pace move. No. No, I have a better idea. There we go. Get that out of there. Jeez. Okay. That's one down. Let's try to deal with this other problem. One nice thing about Raging Fire is their fireballs get outdone by your Raging Fire. Ah, uh, wrong move. This enemy is so freaking worthless. Like, this enemy will never be a threat. If you hit it, it will just keep backpedaling, backpedaling, and dying. 
until you do enough damage. It's I, I just find it hilarious that there is an enemy that just does literally nothing but be uh, just a punching bag. Punching bag with legs. And a human or a human woman body as a tail. That part. And I don't know if it was always like that. Oh no, this is probably the part where I'm gonna die here. There we go, thank god. I I do not like being so close to death all the time, man. Is this a You saw that arrow, right? You saw that arrow about to nick me at my feet, killing me instantly, I'm sure. Uh, okay, we're finally at the boss. Finally at the boss. I kind of wish I had mastery over shurikens, but... How, how good are we at 221? There is one thing I want to have, though. Thousand Blades is this boss's massive weakness. But before we enter this room, let's save the game. Because it could die, but I don't feel like that's going to happen. Because, uh, this boss isn't that hard. All only thing you need to worry about is when she does says the word temptation, you want to switch to Charlotte. The Charlotte's kind of useless for the fight, but she has weapons that can make it. Ow, she does have that though. Not a very hard fight. Just need to watch out for take this. Or attempt well, okay, and that apparently, Jesus. She very la -di da about her movement though. She's just kind of like strolling around the room, not giving a shit. Switch. And if and of course, if she hits you with temptation, guess what happens? Jonathan becomes a puppet, and you basically have to deal with Jonathan and the boss at the same time. And, and if you're real good at the game, it's not a problem, but definitely does not be it's not in your favor. You want to have Jonathan do the damage. But here's one big Achilles heel. Of course, if she gets too close, that means she could hit you, but Thousand Blaze does too much damage to her. Not a hard fight, but not exactly an easy one if she gets if she's evil with her randomness. And dead. Good position. She is she does not care for that lady's at, at all. Though there is a very funny uh, conversation, there is this talk option where if you, where basically what happens if uh, Jonathan gets hit with temptation and you beat the fight with Charlotte, she has some pretty choice words with him. It's kind of hilarious. I hate the flea man, man. Oh my god, I get killed by. I, I avoid getting killed by the boss to have flea men and ghosts murder me. Jesus, I hate these enemies. 15 deaths and counting. I'm just gonna sit up here, get rid of these damn ghosts first. We done. 
and then get a better weapon for flea killing. Sick. My eyes are getting all watery and crap. Oh. Hi, Skull Archer. It's nice seeing you. Jeez. This is the thing that I want to get, though. Strength Club actually lets me push stuff with help. Uh, well, that's bad. We're, we'll go down here real quick. Oh, come on. Uh, this is an interesting spot to be. Oh my god, I forgot you have range. So I think I'm going to probably get back to Vincent and Wind and... Oh, great. That's bad. Uh, is there a save point coming up here? Not with that. Shit. Man, so much dying today. At least, at least I'm showing off how difficult this can get. <laughs> Thank God we have this. Or some also curse, but that might actually be a good thing, because I might be able to get back to a certain somebody and do complete a quest real quick. Except we have ladies trying to kill me. I uh, guess we won't be doing that. So I think I'm going to cut or call it here for today. I think uh, Sunday will be the next time I'll be streaming. I'll try to do it at a... Probably around like noon. It, no. Let's make it 1pm. Because I feel like starting at noon really kind of... It kind of makes me have to rush a bit. Like getting that extra hour to prepare things and get ready for whatever chaos and mayhem that might arise mainly from the streaming situation but thanks for coming everybody that joined and uh next time we will be did i never change the category for this son of a gun okay that's probably the reason why we didn't have so many damn people here because it's haunted castle who the hell is gonna line up to sh see that game all right anyway take care everybody and i'll uh, see you on sunday adios